Hi, I'm Chris Orr of The Orminators, and uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, well, The Orminators. In this case, I'm going to do kind of a brief conversation about uh, uh, kind of a cool place that I went to when I was in San Jose last week, and that is the Winchester uh, Mystery House. Um, <clears throat> definitely worth your, your while to go and visit this. I'll be attaching some clips at the end of this little sequence here, um, or maybe I'll just kind of figure out how to do some uh, splicing stuff in. I'm learning Adobe Premiere Pro while I, uh, while I uh, do these early videos, but in any case, if, for those of you who don't know, the Winchester Mystery House um, was a, uh, what started out as an eight-bedroom um, eight bedroom farmhouse that was bought by Sarah Winchester, who was the daughter-in-law of Oliver Winchester, the founder of the Winchester Company. Um, she married William Winchester, who was the son of Oliver Winchester. And when he died, uh, she moved from Connecticut out to uh, San Jose, California, bought this eight-room uh, farmhouse, and essentially started building onto it uh, over and over and over again. Basically, I think they ended up with over well over 160 rooms, there, you know, dozens of bathrooms. Um, but uh, what makes this house really interesting is that it um, it uh, uh, has like staircases to nowhere and doors that open to big drops or <laughs> up against a wall or cabinets that open up into giant open spaces. Um, and construction was apparently constant because she was told by a medium. She was a spiritualist who basically told her that um, the noise from the construction and everything else would uh, keep away the spirits from all of the people who were killed by her husband's firearms, by the Winchester firearms. Um, so she did this right up until the day she, that, that she died. Um, it's kind of cool. So there'll be a, a video of uh, me outside of the place and then a clip of uh, the... Uh, um, of the gift shop. There's, uh, I bought this there, which is kind of a cool little book uh, talking about all of the, um, the elements of the Winchester Mystery House. I'd recommend picking up a copy of that. And, uh, of course, there'll be a, a you know, I'll, I'll jam in a photo right now <laughs> of the, uh, of, uh, of me holding a couple of Winchesters. There's also a museum, which was kind of cool, of all the uh, different Winchester firearms that were, uh, um, that were d all the different models, rifles, and, and such that um, that were made during, uh, um, well, that are that were made by Winchester, starting with the Henry rifle, all the way through the uh, 1866 and 1873. 1894 is a bunch of bolt actions, uh, some of the shotguns that they made, and even uh, an M1 Garand, Garand, Garand. Uh, that was there, so uh, kind of cool. I think they were kind of. It was a really interesting uh, uh, place to visit, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, I wasn't able actually to make a recording in the house. They um, apparently, you know, have some you know some uh, copyrights against uh, publishing uh, videos. However, I will link to the uh, uh, a travel log or travel video, travel brochure from a natural travel company who had permission to go in and film some of this stuff and. I would highly recommend going and watching the um, movie uh, Winchester, uh, which was starring Hel Helen Mirren, um, and it's actually kind of a, a, a fictionalized account of why um, Sarah Winchester was uh, 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 building all of these rooms. So I would go ahead and, and watch that movie. It's actually kind of cool. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, hit the... Uh, subscribe button. I'll post some links over here and um, thank you for enjoying or enjoying my video. So here I am at the Winchester Mystery House which apparently was owned by the wife of Olin Winchester who built the famous Winchester rifles. It's supposed to be a haunted house tour and I'm here in San Jose uh, gonna go check it out. This is going to be pretty cool. I remember hearing about this a long time ago when I was in college. My roommate actually came up here to see this place. So 
Now we're in the Winchester Museum. Which apparently is one of the biggest collections of Winchester firearms. Unintended consequences. Now, on top of the line, was mentioned in that book. Some other museum pieces about the house. 